let's start with kappa. Well, a kappa means a cup of. It's a slang contraction for a cup of. Kappa. For example, kappa tea. Next one is a cup of java. This is the best cup of java I've ever had. So, java means coffee. Did you know that? Here in the US, Americans use Java for coffee. They use the word Java for coffee. They also use the word Joe. So, a cup of Joe is the same. It means a cup of coffee. Let's continue. It's just a storm in a teacup. It's just a storm in a teacup. Relax. Now, if you say that something is just a storm in a teacup, it means it's not really a big problem. So someone is exaggerating. They are acting like it's a big problem, but it's not. It's just a storm in a teacup. You can also say tempest. So tempest is another word for storm. Tempest also means storm. So a tempest in a teacup. Let's continue. Not the sharpest pencil in the cup. This one is an insult. Don't use it. If you say that someone is not the sharpest pencil in the cup, it means they're not intelligent. They're not smart. Do you know someone who's not the sharpest pencil in the cup? Tell me in the comments. A butter cup. Do you know someone who's a butter cup? What's a butter cup? A butter cup means someone who is very sensitive and soft in a negative way. Now this one is a compliment, a cupcake, cupcake. If you call someone cupcake, it means they're sweet. You think they're sweet. Oh, she's my cupcake. So use this one, don't use this one. You can't pour from an empty cup. Well now this expression or idiom means you can't help others before you help yourself first. You cannot help someone else if you don't have enough energy or resources to help yourself first. So always take care of yourself first. So yes, you cannot pour water or serve water to someone if you don't have enough water yourself. My cup runneth over. Or, or my cup overflows. It means you have an abundance of something. Abundance means too much of. It means wealth. It's not to be rich in money. It means to be rich in maybe friendships, love, opportunities, luck. So if your cup runneth over or overflows, it means you have too much of something and you are blessed. Life is too short to drink from a bad cup. Now this one means only accept people and situations that bring you the best. Never accept bad people or bad situation. Why? Because life is too short. What do you think? Do you agree with this saying? Let's continue. Not my cup of tea. So I think you know this one. If something is not your cup of tea, it means it's not your type or style and you don't really like it. And if it is your type of tea, it means you like it. In cups, if someone is in cups, it means they're drunk. Next, a sippy cup is a cup for toddlers and kids or babies with a lid that they can suck on because babies cannot drink from a regular cup. An empty cup is full of possibilities. So actually, we all know the saying of some people see the cup half empty and some people see the cup half full. Here, this expression means, well, nothing is wrong with a totally empty cup. It's full of possibilities. You can do with it whatever you want. You can fill it up to the brim with whatever you want. It means now you can start from zero. You can start from scratch and do whatever you want with your life. So yeah, an empty cup is not really a bad thing. It's an opportunity for you to start over from the beginning and create something better. What do you think? Do you agree? 
Do you agree with that saying? Now the brim, this is the brim actually. That is the brim, which means the top of the cup. Okay, now our last one is life is like a cup of tea. It's all in how you make it. And this means you choose your own destiny. You have the power in your hand to do whatever you want in your life. Actually, you can make your own life. You can make it sweet, you can make it bitter, you can make it bad, you can make it flavorful. It's up to you. It's just a cup of tea and everything is in your hand. Did you enjoy this lesson? Guys, I had so much fun doing this lesson for you. If you enjoyed it, follow me to learn more real English from my real life.